That's right, guys. In today's spicy video, we are going to be building an insane nether portal. Because we're just continuing to expand our never-ending kingdom that is just getting too OP and too amazing. And if you guys want to participate in the kingdom, whether it be suggestions or just joining in as an actual character, make sure you guys drop a like on this video, hit subscribe to join the Paul GG army, and let's get into the video. But before we get into today's video, guys, I want to thank today's sponsor, myself, actually. <laughs> Did you guys know that I have another channel called More Paul GG? where I'm just uploading bonus content, primarily stream highlights, and even some videos that are even about this hardcore series. If you guys didn't know about it, you guys should definitely go check it out because the videos are hilarious, they're spicy spicy, and there's a lot more to come. All right, and that's all, so let's get into the video. Oh, it always feels good to get back on this world. I freaking love it. This, it just everything's turning out so beautiful, so amazing. If you guys missed it for whatever reason, in the last video, we started building up a villager breeding farm, basically, so that now we're able to pump out tons and tons of villagers so that we can be able to actually fill up the kingdom since it seems like a lot of people would prefer to be named after a villager in this kingdom because like I said before I'm going to try to name villagers and like I don't know iron golems and animals and stuff like that after my subscribers so if you guys want to you know participate make sure you guys subscribe and I, this was an essential build to being able to have ample amount of villagers in the kingdom regardless though moving on to today's video we got to build ourselves another portal because well I mean like this is dookie obviously this this is this is never meant to be the end all be all who wants a regular nether portal so what i'm thinking about doing is incorporating it into this mountain but in such a cool way that it looks like it's a part of the actual mountain maybe like aged into it something like that i'm trying to make it look fancy schmancy in my previous hardcore world i just had a really big circle and it looked like it was part of the mountain which was cool this one i needed to be even better than the last but we do have some things that i want to get done around the kingdom chores if you will before we get started on this build which if you guys were here for the last video you would know that I built up this tiny little dookie shack that like the point of it is supposed to be like you know the crazy guy that lives on the edge of town past the farmlands and he's just you know he's crazy uh I finally realized who would be the perfect candidate to live in this thing and that is Mr. Pillager over here that we've had since day one but before I'm able to get him to move all the way over there I gotta break his bow and by doing that I literally just gotta sit here and let him shoot me in the face about a thousand times um that's it i'm calling it quits i've been waiting for this guy's bow to break it's been two minecraft days i've gone through five shields i have literally no more iron on me anymore so i gotta figure out and get more iron because i don't have an iron farm in the kingdom yet but i've spent two days trying to get this guy's stupid crossbow to break and it's just killing me i'm so done with this i'm just boating him over and i'll eat the damage i don't care it's triggering me let me put on my chest plate real quick and i also gotta get rid of the sheepers that's sitting in here get out of my way i don't got time for you right now Okay, and then now all I gotta do is hop in and then boat them all the way over. I'm mostly, I'm not worried about myself. I'm mostly worried about the uh, villagers, you know, because they, they might get a little too close to him. They might venture off over to the house and I don't want them getting hurt, you know? I care about my villagers because a lot of them are going to be named after subscribers and I care about my subscribers. I love you guys. But now we have a clear path and I'm just going to take them all the way over there. No, 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 like this, bro. I just wasted so much time trying to break that guy's shield just for the Gibbs to show up and then just, uh, oh my gosh, that's pain. That's true pain. Oh, he's gone. Well, now that that's over with, I guess. Uh, one thing I do need to do uh, is actually chop down some of these iron golems now. Not because I'm angry or anything, but no, because I actually need some iron and these guys spawn in like crazy because there's so many villagers here now. So we're fine. We're a-okay. So I'll always have plenty of iron golems roaming around and I do need to build an iron farm. So guys, uh, comment down below. Should I build a mega Higanto epic echo mode iron farm or no? <laughs> You're going to get that either way. I, I genuinely i need one anyway since we lost our pillager i want to 
want to start on the next project which is actually building something up finally in the middle of the kingdom because i mean well it's just been empty right here and uh, i want to put something here which thank you to uh land and fro for uh tagging me in an instagram post of like kind of like a statue tutorial thing because the statue actually looks pretty sick and then i kind of want to try to build it up myself but like do a little bit of a twist and change it up but before we do that i want to fly out to the stronghold well it's nighttime so here let me go to sleep not gonna deal with mobs but as i was saying i want to fly all the way out to the stronghold so that i can be able to get a lot of different types of stone brick because they kind of have the mossy stone brick and the cracked stone brick and stuff like that and i'm not too far away from the stronghold so it shouldn't take too long to get there here we go here's my entryway which i figured i'll just probably come on just get oh, load all the way down just like this nice and gracefully and since i do have silk touch now i can easily just silk touch up a lot of this stuff so at least now i can be able to have some pretty blocks to be able to build the statue out of you know something that isn't just going to look like everything else in the village all right there we go that should be plenty of blocks for now i mean i'm not trying to mine out the entire stronghold <laughs> just yet that is uh so now let's get home to start building up this statue so ideally what i want to do for this is i want to clear out a decent size area to make it also a fountain with a statue kind of in the middle of it something a little bit like this and then add in a couple more blocks where i'm going to be actually building the statue and the rest of it's just gonna be filled in with water i need a handful of stairs i'm gonna need a handful of uh chiseled stone bricks i just now found out for the first time that you can't get uh cracked stairs and cracked slabs that's pretty interesting considering there's mossy um i'm feeling like it's a little bit biased minecraft and uh it's kind of an issue huh regardless let's see what we could do here let me try starting out with this and there it is our middle monument our middle kingdom our the thing that goes in the middle of our kingdom the monument in the middle <laughs> why it feels so weird to say it. one thing i do want to do though still is add some lodestones like we talked about in the last video because obviously if i add lodestones then we could be able to know where home is at all times and it'll be way easier but overall though i'm pretty happy with this so big shout out to minecraft x buildings on instagram and also yeah thanks for tagging me in it because i definitely vibe with this this look something about it it looks like it fits in the kingdom right regardless now we're the next part of the video where i'm gonna actually start building up our nether portals i say portals because there is actually gonna be multiple nether portals over here one thing i definitely need to do <sighs> going a little too fast before building up this portal is actually getting a ton of obsidian because i'm going to need a lot of it oh my gosh bro there's a heck of mobs around here oh which obviously the easiest way to getting a bunch of obsidian is just find a giant lava lake and the new minecraft caves and cliffs is pretty endless when it comes to those which I was going to say, I believe I do actually remember there being one directly underneath the base. So <laughs> that makes life way easier. So now I'll be able to have ample amount of obsidian. And pro tip, if you just sit here in some water and just continue to mine, you'll be able to get all the obsidian you want for free as long as half your body is sticking up out of the water and none of your obsidian is going to fall into lava because that's such a painful experience when you mine up obsidian and it just right into lava. Now we just need to mine up plenty of this real quick. All right, I'm officially losing brain cells while doing this. I'm going to call it here after this last block. There we go. Oh, there's one. Little over two stacks. I'll take it. Should be enough, I hope. If not, well, then I got to come back down here and start banging my head against the wall some more. Now that we got all of our obsidian, it's time to officially start building up the first portal because my plan for this is that I want it to look kind of like the entire thing is like kind of corrupted with the nether portal, I guess. So like one giant portal right here, maybe a smaller one right there and then another one on this side kind of this way facing that direction so here let's kind of smooth out this side of the wall real quick then we got to kind of like dig into it and i got to kind of like carve out the shape of the portal this portal's got to be square like no other way around it they got to be like kind of squared off i mean they can be rectangular if you want to get all you know technical with it but so let's build up this first portal because with the first portal after this one's done i'm going to go into the next to gather some resources 
misplaced a stupid obsidian ah oh, i just realized i already made a mistake i need to put this like in the ground just like so there we go so then obviously when you're walking up to it after i kind of shape it out with all the nether brick and stuff like that you wouldn't really notice i mean other than maybe this part of the obsidian but it's not that noticeable after it's going to be all done up now let's light this up and hop in it should still be connected to the original portal nice right next to the fortress gotta love it now what i want to do is gather up a few resources by that i literally mean just a whole lot of netherrack we could definitely grab like some quartz and stuff like that as well then maybe also some gold nugget blocks just kind of add to the aesthetic aesthetic yes and then maybe just because we can we'll add some stone brick to it also honestly i might not even end up using the stone brick i'll be completely honest here There's something about it i used to love stone brick back in the day oh back in my day this used to be the fanciest block you could ever get in minecraft so now what i want to do is kind of shape out a design and kind of replace a lot of these blocks then i want to make sure that i mix in a lot of dirt so that it still looks like you know it's in the overworld but i want it to kind of like like i said before just be kind of like corrupted looking almost all right, i decided to move back the portal a little bit so that i'm able to make it a bit bigger and have a little bit more headspace because that'll also give me a little bit more room to round it out one thing i am realizing is an issue though is that i can't make netherrack stairs per se so what i might do is i might just try to match it up with the kingdom and make it look a little bit older and ancienty ancient-y because stairs are how you really make it look round you know there we go now it's starting to kind of like round out a lot more and it's going to start sinking in a lot better into the the mountain itself and this way i could still obviously pull off like the netherrack mixed with dirt look as well it's just now it also has you know stone brick that's kind of it i'm definitely vibing with this now this is starting to look pretty good what i want to do is kind of add in netherrack into like the actual mountain itself replace some of this exposed stone with it all right now that this portal is done i'm definitely vibing with the way that this is looking this will be the primary portal that pretty much we'll always use to go in and out of like i said i do want to kind of add more portals up here with like kind of the similar aesthetic one of them being a very giant one i want one to be very very tall maybe a little bit skinnier so here let's start carving it into the side of this mountain then now we'll light that portal up and then we'll kind of like clear in a giant hole in the mountain just like the last one kind of expose it a little bit are you getting exposed portal you caught in 4k right now bro sure. all right let's see how this one looks and ooh, that looks pretty snazzy definitely smaller than i thought it was going to be after you know using a bunch of obsidian but hey um i'm realizing now though that because the fact that this is like so concaved and not really like flat it's hard to get a really tall one without making it look unnatural so like what i might actually end up doing is right here using this wall since this wall is already pretty open and pretty natural very tall and flat right there i just got to do a little bit of terraforming real quick and now this should be big enough and flat enough what i want to do is kind of punch in like right here and go all the way up a lot of blocks and clear out everything in between then now that i got the big portal all assembled i need to light it up like so and then i gotta reveal a giant chunk of it basically and right, now let's see how this one looks nice and big there we go so that one oh yeah now that looks pretty cool actually because the whole mountain's starting to look kind of corrupted all right now let's real quick get a good old bird's eye view from flying into town so you fly into town oh yeah now that looks pretty cool because i like this one being the only like really netherracky one because this is kind of the original one and now it's like spreading into the mountains you know it's got like a little bit of a story to it where it's like this one's one that all the villagers inside the kingdom divide developed and made and then now it's corrupting the whole entire land and it won't be long until we're screwed no i'm just kidding now i'm definitely vibing with this aesthetic i don't know how villagers keep coming up here though and i don't know why they'd want to come up here i mean the nether portals and stuff like that <laughs> My life should just broke on me and I literally just, oh, I thought I was dead. I thought I was done for right there. Oh my gosh. Hey, oh, that was scary. <clears throat> okay, well now I got to go heal my elytra because it's broken and uh, I don't want it to be broken for the next video that we film. <laughs>
regardless though that is gonna be it for this video guys i hope you guys did enjoy this video and this build because we're slowly expanding out the kingdom make sure you guys comment down below if you guys want to join the paul gg army and join uh, as a villager or a cow or whatever it may be whatever you guys want to be speaking of which actually before i go heal my elytra and this is the end of the video i completely forgot that i uh, haven't named anyone in this video yet so uh <clears throat> so let's get to naming a couple of villagers huh and first up we got cyborg that wants to be a villager and we also got alpha galaxy that also wants to be a villager and then lastly i need a cow which apparently we actually don't have any cows in the kingdom so let me just grab some wheat real quick from the farmers and we just gotta hunt down some cows to add them to the kingdom and then you know what screw it i'm just gonna oh wait i don't have two wheat okay well you get to be uh this one koi there you go you're a moo moo now you're a moo moo a part of the kingdom guys remember comment down below if you guys want to join the kingdom let me know what you want to be an iron golem a villager a fish i'll put you in this pond if you want to be a fish regardless though that is gonna be it for this video guys i hope you guys did enjoy today's video it was a little spicy spicy one we're continuing to expand and work on the kingdom and we still have a lot more builds to come we're still just in the beginning phases make sure to drop a like on the video if you guys did enjoy and i will see you guys in the next one